In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change the oil in this Toyota 4Runner. Let's get into it. Underneath the vehicle, you wanna make sure you have a drain pan. And I'm gonna use a 14 millimeter socket. Loosen up the drain plug. that out of the way. On the drain plug, you want to take the gasket off. Throw that out. Now put the gasket on the drain plug. Line it up. And get it started. Now torque the drain plug to 27 foot pounds. You can use a rag or even some brake parts cleaner and just clean off any residual. You can see where the oil filter is located on the left side of the vehicle. If you look inside the inner fender well, there should be a cover right here. You can just pop that off with some push pins and then you can reach in there or even reach in like I am from up above and just reach under the alternator and that's where it is. I am gonna put a couple of absorbers just to absorb any oil that drips out when I'm pulling it off. If you pull the shields off from underneath, there's really not that much more access to get to the filter. It's still pretty easy to get to it from up top. Using a oil filter wrench, loosen it up. Some of the oil's dripping out. Just try to catch that. And slide the oil filter out. And slide the oil filter in place. Get that lined up. And started. I'll just make sure my rag's out of the way. And tighten the oil filter down. Once it is just barely snug, then we're gonna tighten it, go another half turn. That's about a half turn. Take the oil cap off. And use a funnel. We're gonna be using 5W30 in this vehicle. You wanna check your owner's manual for the exact in your location. This vehicle requires 6.3 quarts, so a little less than six and a half quarts. I got 6.3 quarts in there. Take the funnel, you can put the cap back on, line that up, tighten that down. Now I'm just going to start the engine for 10 seconds and then shut it down. Check the oil level, grab the dipstick, and 
gonna wipe it off first with a rag. Reinsert the dipstick. Hold it there for three seconds and pull it out again. And you wanna check the level. You want it closer to the top of the dipstick where that little bump is. So if it's not close to there, you wanna add a little bit of oil. If it's too far over, then you're gonna to have to remove some oil. This looks good. Now we can reinsert the dipstick. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.